Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the highest quality woven guitar, bag, and camera straps you'll ever see. Native Sons straps are handmade one at a time in the USA with unparalleled love and care. Click the link in the description to check out their new expanded lineup featuring all new 3-inch guitar straps. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey, how's it going, all you hot chicks and cool cats? Brad the Guitologist here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to review this thing. This is a Travolo S... Let's see. Travolo S electrostatic Bluetooth speaker. Now, uh, this company that makes this thing uh, reached out to me. It's been a while back, actually, and I should have already gotten to this, but one thing uh, kept popping up after another, and I couldn't get to it till now. But here we go. We're going to give this thing a review. Now, this seems pretty cool because um, I think this thing is going to turn out to be a lot better built than I initially had anticipated. Sorry, I got something on there, didn't I? Whoops. That was me, not them. Uh, but this is made by Bink. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Bink. Uh, made in China. But I expect, actually, the quality of this to be pretty high. I've seen a couple of other people tear these things apart. Um, and if you want to see a video of this thing... Uh, torn down that is the electrostatic speakers actually taken apart and all that stuff there are videos on YouTube where people do that uh, I'm not gonna do that in this video but I am gonna check it out and see what kind of uh, sound quality I can get out of this thing I did tell them to go ahead and send this even though I'm not typically you know somebody who does these kinds of reviews I told them to go ahead and send it because I was kind of intrigued by by it um, I looked it up on their website when they reached out to me and it looked like it might be a really a good quality product and my wife has kind of been um, she's kind of been in the market for one of these anyway and I thought why not very well packaged I will say that for it okay let's see what comes in the box here we've got uh, some kind of carrying pouch maybe yeah it has a real nice feel to it almost like microfiber not microfiber like the stuff that's real sticky but this is like real um really smooth i think it, it whatever it is it's i think it's made to hold this and it won't scratch it up and then we got some kind of power adapter here i'm not sure what that's for maybe it's to convert this okay i see oh that's pretty actual that's actually fairly ingenious so look what they've done here they this is cool already um very inventive so what they've done here obviously is they've taken a standardized wall wart uh, this is the this is a part that can be made and doesn't have to be specific to one country or another and then they just send you whichever part goes with your country to snap onto this I have not seen these yet but that is rather innovative who's ma who making making this thing are they making this I doubt it <clears throat> doesn't really say maybe e EAC is the company that made this. But yeah, already that's kind of cool. So I see what's happening here. This just slides down into into place. And once again, like if you were in uh, Europe or Asia or wherever you are, they send you, or you know, England, whatever, they send you the appropriate piece that slides and then snaps into place. And I guess if you want to remove it, what does this pop? Uh, how does it remove? I guess you push, oh, okay. You push that in and then it slides back off. How ingenious is that? I'm actually, I think I'm more fascinated by that than I, <laughs> than I, I was going to be on this. Let's see, okay, we've got a quick guide to get started. I doubt I'll need that. At least I hope I won't. Yeah, this thing already, I can tell, I mean, this thing has really good weight to it, um, which indicates to me this might be, this might be very good quality indeed. Oh, wow, they sent me a white one. I think these come in a couple different colors. They come in this kind of grayish black uh, and then they've sent me the white one which is this thing is awesome looking and yeah this is uh i can already tell that this is like really good quality now these are electrostatic speakers uh this whole thing is a speaker so for those of you who don't know electrostatic speakers work on a completely different principle on our, and are even shaped entirely differently from your standard uh, speaker with a voice coil and a cone that we're used to electrostatic speakers are normally associated with high-end audio file systems and they consist of a step-up transformer and a couple of grids or stators and also a diaphragm in the middle that's usually connected to a positive voltage now as the signal 
signal is applied across that transformer onto the grids, the signal will go more and less positive, drawing the diaphragm back and forth in between the two, which creates the sound. Uh, the, the other thing about these is that the sound will actually go in both directions so you'll have uh, you know you'll have sound coming out the back of the speaker and also the front of the speaker the thing about this particular model though is that it does not follow these exact specifications uh, there was a video on EEV blog where he took one of these apart and actually the speakers themselves they work on a slightly different principle which was kinda oddball and I don't claim to fully understand it but if you want to check out his video I'll put the link in the description where he did an entire teardown of one of these and showed that the speakers actually were slightly different than your standard electrodynamic speaker which is kind of kind of odd and kind of interesting I think someone called called them an electret uh, type speaker. So yeah, pretty odd. And like I said, if you wanted to see these uh, completely taken apart, there uh, there are um, one or two videos on YouTube already, so I'm not gonna bother doing that in this video. But I am probably gonna go through the manual here with you and figure out um, how this thing works and how good it is. Okay, so here's the model number, the one I have. It's AU3000. Let's get this thing plugged in. I'm really curious to see uh, how it operates. First, let's let's look at the manual and see if there's anything they suggest up front I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, North American warranty. Thank you for purchasing. In the unlikely event, they give you a phone number at least, so that's good. And they have a website as well. Okay, so it looks like I got everything I needed, needed to have in the package. This should be fairly simple, uh, self-explanatory. It just goes over how to pair the device. Um, let's see, recommendations, download the app BenQ Audio to your Android or iOS to indulge the best music playing experience. To flexibly tune in with the speaker everywhere for optimal acoustics, have it charged beforehand and put it in an open space, okay. Okay, it does talk a little bit here about input priority. So if you um, have multiple things plugged into this, like if you have a USB plugged in and also a line in and also Bluetooth, uh, the USB will take precedence over the line in, which will take precedence over the Bluetooth. So these, you know, you plug the USB in, it's going to cut off your Bluetooth, in other words, and your line in. Okay, frequency response. It looks like it goes 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz which should be enough to uh, reproduce just about any kind of music you desire to reproduce unless it has like dog whistles or something in it and maybe it'll go higher than 20 kilohertz but I kinda doubt it okay this will play for 18 hours on battery power NFC enabled devices can wake up Travolo S and Travolo S can automatically connect to Bluetooth of the devices when they are close to each other that's cool if you get a second one of these, you can pair them so that they uh, one of them be like the left channel and one will be the right channel. So that's cool as well. Yeah, the battery is included in this, and I, that's probably why it's you know so weighty. I always like to show these just in case somebody already has one, and you you know if you've lost your manual, then at least you'll have it, a copy of it here to look at. Okay. So let's plug this bad boy in. Really, really curious to hear it. So yeah, the great thing about this too is that, you know, you can plug it in somewhere and you can use it uh, as is in a stationary position or you can um, you can unplug it and it should be charged if it's been on, you know, if it's been on charge the whole time. You can take it with you, take it outside or what have you. Okay, so I have a light here. Now I have an older iPhone, so don't laugh at me here. I, I don't know. I don't have any of this fancy smanchy, sman, schmancy <laughs> new stuff. But okay, Bluetooth is on. And let's see what we got. Press and hold the Bluetooth button for three seconds to make the speaker discoverable. Two, three. Uh, it says the LED should blink in blue, but it's not doing that. There we go. I forgot to turn it on first. Okay, the LED is blinking in blue, so let's see if we can pair it up. Okay, so I go into my Bluetooth settings, so I'm going to select Travolo S. And there it just told me I'm connected. 
Already I can tell it has pretty good sound. It's got a lot of bass to it. Uh, and that's probably courtesy of these two little uh, these two little bass speakers in the middle. The chorus of this song gets pretty heavy here in a second. I, I kind of want to see how it handles this chorus because it gets really heavy and it has a lot of bass to it. Okay, so there's a play and pause button on the unit itself so I can um, remotely play or pause my Bluetooth. Okay, there's a, there's a uh, mode button here, and I didn't realize this at first, but if you look at the mode button and what it's for, H, uh, it's a sound mode, 3D. So I guess if you press it, it gives you more of a 3D kind of a, a, of a sound separation. Uh, and it does actually, yes, it sounds like maybe it flips the phase or something so that it, I don't know, it seems to... Um, it seems to put more of the highs on the on the wings, like out here. You can you can hear more of the highs out here, and then if you turn it off, um, they the highs kind of disappear, and it just seems a little muddier. So I don't know. I kind of like the uh, 3D mode better, at least for this song. Let's uh, play one more song here. Hang on. Yeah, for whatever reason, this mode that I have it on now just sounds a lot better. Um, it just, I don't know, it's, it is, it really is. It's almost like the, uh, the hi-hats and all of the, uh, all, all of the highs get pushed out to these wing speakers a little bit more. Almost, it's almost like a, a crossover or something kicks in. I don't know how to describe it. 
but the the highs definitely come out in that kind of 3D mode. Okay, so far this is all my music and stuff because I don't want any copyright strikes. It would be it would be nice to really hear it with some uh, good classical music to get a real sense of how you know transparent it is. Yeah, there's no question about it. The 3D mode sounds really tons better. So what do I think about this overall impressions? Uh, I think that the the actual construction of this thing is is really nice. I can tell why it's so heavy because there is a battery inside. So when you charge this thing up, you can unplug it and take it with you. Uh, you can also fold your speakers in like this and you know, it kind of condenses itself down and allows itself to be transported in the included bag which is kind of cool so you can throw the bag in your uh, if your purse if you're a woman or if you're a man i guess too some of you guys carry purses <laughs> but you know whatever um you can take this thing with you and it might make for a better listening experience um even if you just take your laptop out somewhere to work at the park or something you know or whatever it might make for a better listening experience overall uh, for with for music or if, if you're having trouble hearing um, dial-in meetings or something like that you know this might be better just hook this up uh, via Bluetooth to whatever device you're using and yeah it might be pretty cool um, it does again allow you to let's see what this is what is this here oh that's it has an auxiliary input so you can um, you know you can plug whatever into this you could plug uh, your old iPod or something, which I do still have one of those. Um, you could, uh, just plug your phone directly if you don't want to use the Bluetooth feature. You just come out of this with a, a cable. You could, um, you know, plug whatever into it. So that's nice as well. But yeah, overall impressions. I'm I'm impressed with the construction. I'm impressed uh, with the uh, with the features in that it doesn't try to go overboard with features. A lot of devices like this, they'll tend to. Um, just try to cram too much crap you know into one little unit and this doesn't try to do too much it just does does just enough and it has just enough buttons to get done what you would expect it to get done you know with a plus and minus volume it has a bluetooth sync button on off button a play pause button and a, and one mode button that just does two things so yeah i mean it's uh it's very cool in that respect it's just it is what it is this is something that'll really never go out of style because it doesn't have, you know, the stupid little ports or something like that for the docking of your phone or whatever, you know, like a lot of these things do that you see on the shelves of your local Goodwill all the time. You know, this is something that, you know, until, I guess until you blow it up, it's, it's going to be a useful item to have around. So, um, yeah, overall impressions, I would say, are positive on the construction. The sound quality is very good, I would say, in the 3D mode for what it is and no no larger than it is. It isn't very loud. This is, um, I mean, you could think about your your little bedroom shelf uh, speaker boom boxes that you had back in the day. This is quieter than that. Uh, it's, pro it's quieter than like those Bose systems, but the sound quality is good. So if you're the type of person who likes to just have some ambiance in the background, um, or if you're just trying to have a little bit of a better uh, speaker experience than maybe your onboard laptop speakers or something like that, this would definitely fit the bill. So, so yeah, I, I would say out of out of ten, I would give this a good solid uh, eight out of ten for what it is and what it does. And as far as construction, I would have to say this thing gets a nine or a ten out of ten. The construction quality is very good. They've used uh, the housing here is a. 
I don't know. This actually feels like metal to me. I think that might be aluminum. It's just it just seems very well constructed. I, I don't I you know I'm not saying that you wouldn't be able to break it. I'm just saying that um, it's very it's very sleek design. It's a good looking design. Really nice uh, really nice padded bottom right there. It's like a non skid padded bottom. Nice grills and it looks like these grills are kind of enameled. So that's you know. They've, they've done a good job putting this thing together. So I would say, oh, you know, overall, a good solid 8 out of 10. So yeah, that will do it for our review of this Travolo S uh, Bluetooth electrostatic speaker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit subscribe down below. And for now, y'all take care.